वेलकम टू गेम सेट मैच आई होप आप लोग खैरियत से होंगे और अच्छे से अपना ख्याल रख रहे होंगे ऑस्ट्रेलिया वर्स ऑस्ट्रेलिया वर्सेस पाकिस्तान यही चल रहा है इस वक्त ऑस्ट्रेलिया टू टू पाकिस्तान के हवाले से काफ़ी सारी डिस्कशन होगी और जर्नलिस्ट की आमदो रफ्त के हवाले से भी बात होगी क्योंकि जहां हमारे लोकल हमारे जर्नलिस्ट जो हैं वहां मौजूद हैं वहां बड़े फॉरेन जर्नलिस्ट भी मौजूद हैं तो ये सारी डिस्कशन आज हम करेंगे कुछ मेहमान भी हमारे साथ ज्वाइन इन करेंगे मैं हूँ सवेरा पाशा और मेरे साथ मौजूद हैं एंड आप सबको एंड यस पी एस एल बिहाइंड पूरा का पूरा फोकस जो है वो पाकिस्तान वर्सेज ऑस्ट्रेलिया सीरीज पर है एक एक चीज पर नजर रखी जा रही है कौन सा खिलाड़ी किस वक्त क्या कर रहा है विकेट कैसी है विकेट सीम करेगी स्विंग करेगी या जैसा कि फॉक्स क्रिकेट ऑस्ट्रेलिया समझता है कि एक बेल्टर होगी एक हाईवे की तरह होगी सो ईच एंड एवरीथिंग इज अंडर द माइक्रोस्कोप एंड व्हाई नॉट ये एक हिस्टोरिकल सीरीज है कितनी बार कहा गया ट्वेंटी फोर ईयर्स इन द मेकिंग बट वी आर जस्ट टू डेज अवे इन इन शाह जस्ट टू डेज अवे और ये ट्वेंटी फोर ईयर्स मेरे ख्याल से हम कोई चौबीस हज़ार दफ़ा बोल चुके हैं ये बात कि ट्वेंटी फोर ईयर्स ट्वेंटी फोर ईयर्स बट इस इस बात से जो है वो साबित होता है कि कितनी इम्पोर्टेंस है इस सीरीज की वो इस वजह से बिकॉज आपको ऑस्ट्रेलियन प्लेयर्स भी बहुत ज़्यादा एक्साइटेड लग रहे हैं जिस तरह के उनके कमेंट्स आ रहे हैं उनके बयान आ रहे हैं दे आर वेरी एक्साइटेड देर इन्जॉइंग इवन स्टीव स्मिथ की जब हम कल प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस की बात करें तो खास तौर पर कोट अन कोट ही सेड I'm loving the barbecue here. So they're they're enjoying their food as well, Adi. Yes, absolutely. And by the way, खानों की जहाँ बात आती है, वो तो फिर हम खुद उनको कदाफी स्टेडियम ले आएँ। हाँ। आप कोई हमने वो तो ऐसा खाना बना देते हैं। पाकिस्तानी पाकिस्तानी खाना वैसी टेस्टी होता है। इन लोगों के लिए I would say अभी novelty factor तो नहीं रहा है, because the Indian and the Desi food is available all across the world, and of course they stay in India for so long. आईपीएल के लिए और सारी चीजों के लिए सो ये खाना कोई नॉवेल्टी फैक्टर नहीं बट इट्स गुड टू नो दैट वी आर सर्विंग दैम गुड फूड एंड गुड एंड हेल्दी फूड इसका एक बड़ी कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी हो ये कभी मौका मिला तो आपको हम बताएंगे रग्बी के हवाले से ये काफी कहा जाता है वी हैव टू गो बैक टू दो नाइनटीन नाइन फाइव रग्बी वर्ल्ड कप लेकिन खैर आई एम प्रोटी शो वी आर सर्विंग दैम गुड फूड एंड देल वी ऑल हेल्दी बिफोर द टेस्ट मैच एंड वाई नॉट वैसे एक हमारे मंकीज ऑफ द बैक सवेरा वो एक डर लगा हुआ था कोविड टेस्ट के हवाले से हारिस श्रोफ के बाद कि कहीं कोई और पाकिस्तानी बिकॉज ऑलरेडी आई थिंक आर स्क्वाड इज स्ट्रेच हम इतने स्ट्रेच हो चुके हैं कि अब तीन खिलाड़ी हमने अपने स्क्वाड के बाहर से बुलाएं खुदा ना खास्ता अभी कुछ और खबरें इस तरह की आ जाती तो फिर टीम बनाना मैं ये कहूंगा मुश्किल तो नहीं बनती लेकिन वो आइडियल कॉम्बिनेशन आपका नहीं बन पाता ऑब्वियसली आपको कॉम्प्रोमाइज करना पड़ता आपको कॉम्प्रोमाइज उस पर जाना पड़ता अपनी फर्स्ट इलेवन को नहीं खिला पाते बट अच्छी खबर ये है कि पूरी पाकिस्तान टीम के जो पीसीआर टेस्ट हुए थे उसमें सब जो हैं वो नेगेटिव आए हैं इट्स जस्ट हारिस रऊफ जो कि आइसोलेशन में चले गए बिकॉज कल हारिस रऊफ ने प्रैक्टिस की थी टीम के साथ इस वजह से बड़े खदशात थे कि ऐसा ना हो कि कहीं इतनी क्लोज कोई इंटरेक्शन हुई हो बट शुक्र कुछ ऐसा नहीं हुआ हुआ और um, अच्छी बात यह है कि अब कोविड का कोई झटका नहीं है और भी सो विच इज़ विच इज़ वेरी गुड मगर जब प्रैक्टिस की बात करते हैं और साथ साथ इस ट्रॉफी की बात करते हैं सो दिस ट्रॉफी हैज़ गॉट अ नेम नाउ सो इट इज़ बेन्यू कादिर ट्रॉफी और अब ये ट्रॉफी इस ट्रॉफी की शुरुआत ऐसे होगी कि अब जब जब पाकिस्तान ऑस्ट्रेलिया जाके खेलेगा सो दिस वुड बी होम इन अवे काइंड ऑफ फिक्सचर और इस तरह से इस ट्रॉफी को जो है वो आगे बढ़ाया जाएगा विच इज़ विच इज़ रियली गुड एक बड़े मज़े की एक चीज़ हमें uh, सुनने में भी लग रही है बड़ी अच्छी एक एक नाम आ गया है उस ट्रॉफी का और वो रेगुलरिटी में हमें होती हुई दिखेगी बट वैन वी टॉक अबाउट प्रैक्टिस सेशन और किस तरह प्रैक्टिस हुई क्या हुआ मैदान आधा आधा डिवाइड करके इधर थी टीम ऑस्ट्रेलिया इधर थी टीम पाकिस्तान किस तरह वो लोग पिचेस देख रहे थे पिचेस पे आधे आधे लेटे हुए दिख रहे थे आपको चेक करने के लिए पिचेस एक तरफ रिजवान तो दूसरी तरफ स्मिथ सो ये सारी चीजें जो है आपको जरा इस पैकेज में दिखाते हैं और फिर वापस आकर डिस्कशन को आगे बढ़ाते हैं सो रिची बेनो एन अब्दुल कादिर ट्रॉफी सो बेनो कादिर ट्रॉफी अदिल बड़ा अच्छा सा लग रहा है इसका नाम बड़ा अच्छा एक सेट मिल गया या और उम्मीद ये करते हैं कि इस नाम की बदौलत जो है ना बोथ द टीम्स विल कंटिन्यू प्लेइंग टुगेदर और फ्रीक्वेंटली खेलते रहें सिर्फ इधर इज दिस वन ऑब्जर्वेशन अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर नेम वैसे मैं जब ये नाम मैंने सुना अच्छा सो वी नो अबाउट द बॉर्डर गावस ट्रॉफी जो कि इंडिया और ऑस्ट्रेलिया के दरमियान होती है वी नो अबाउट द Uh, about uh, the born murli tharan trophy which is the, which is played between australia and sri lanka so very interesting thing is is se sabit ye hota hai ki generally jo series ke naam rakhe jate hain savera ye hmm. hota hai uh, un players ka jo ke aapas mein saath cricket khel chuke hote hain hmm. ab richi benu ne apni i think he he ended his career back in 1964 aur abdul qadir ne to us waqt apni cricket shayad pata nahi khelni bhi
a lot in the future and we wouldn't mind being the first winner of this trophy, Savera. Exactly, not at all. Who would mind that? But when I talk about journalists, when I talk about the media, so where our local journalists are available, where Pakistani journalists are available, there are also people from the international media, people from foreign media, people from foreign journalists are available with us. यहाँ मौजूद हैं और आ रहे हैं पिंडी स्टेडियम में मौजूद हैं और जब हम बात करते हैं कि उनसे उनके तासुरात जाने जाएं बिकॉज़ उनमें ज़्यादातर वो लोग हैं जो पहली दफा पाकिस्तान आ रहे हैं और ऑस्ट्रेलियन इस इस टूर को कवर करने आए हैं ऑस्ट्रेलिया टूर टू पाकिस्तान को सो एक फॉरेन so Isabel, welcome to the show, welcome to Game, Set, Match and welcome to Pakistan and I think you've heard this sentence, welcome to Pakistan like zillion times. Oh, well, I, I, I don't get tired of hearing that sentence because it's a real privilege to be here. I'm very happy to be in, uh, in Islamabad in Pakistan and uh, to look forward to this test series. Yes. And Isabel, I hope uh, you would have realized that this is not a tennis program. We talk about cricket in this show, right? I hope Savera has briefed you about that. <laughs> we're, we're all all-rounders, aren't we? We can, we can cover lots of different sports, I'm sure. All right, that's great. So, uh, welcome to Pakistan. Let me do my part here as well, 497th <laughs> time that you have heard this uh, greeting. And the good thing is that you are starting from Islamabad. You know, there is a joke and you, you'll be, you'll be travelling. You, you are visiting Rawalpindi as well. But there's a joke in Pakistan that Islamabad is located five kilometers outside Pakistan. It's a very, the city has got a very different feel. So perhaps I don't want to offend any of my Rawalpindi friends, but you will get the real sense of taste of Pakistan when you will traveling to Lahore and Karachi. Nevertheless, we are all set for the Benu Qadir Trophy. How about the selection of the name? We were talking about that, Isabel. Uh, you like the name? I really do. I really like it for the historical context. I think... Um, Richie Benno, obviously, he only played four tests against Pakistan, yeah. but but there were the 1959 tour, Australia tour to Pakistan was obviously quite a big one. It was when Australia won two 0 It's very rare that they do that when they come to Pakistan, and of course, it was also the I think the third test in Karachi was the one in which um, the U.S. president uh, Dwight Eisenhower watched a very a very slow, very turgid day of test cricket, and no. No U.S. president has watched cricket since, so I don't know what that that means about what they think about Test cricket. But there's a lot of a lot of history, and I I, I think you know to have a series that's named after two greats of the game in, in different eras, perhaps it just lends itself to the gravitas of this 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 historical series. I think it's brilliant. It's it's really br brilliant, and when when we talk about this series, Isabel. Um, is this the first time that you've been to Pakistan? And what do you think about the Pindi Stadium? Because I know you've been there already. Yes, this is my first time in Pakistan. And I think it's, I'm so happy to finally be here because I tried, I was intending to come for the England tour. The England men's and women's team were going to come here in October. Of course, that got called off at short notice. And it was, really disappointing. I could see how disappointing it was for Pakistan, for Pakistan Cricket Board. It was disappointing on a personal level because I was so looking forward to coming. And I think also from a global cricket perspective, I was I felt it was a really bad decision from England. Um, I think they let down Pakistan cricket, frankly. So I was I was very intent on coming to Pakistan at the next possible opportunity. And having been in Australia where I didn't see a single England team win across the whole of the, the the summer out there i'm i'm very much looking forward to to pakistan perhaps beating australia because i i haven't seen it that often and i'm i'm, I'm looking for a little bit of something out here isabel you can leave it on us don't worry about that <laughs> australians are going to get some lessons okay. some very nice lessons in urdu here um, i mean just just uh, on a lighter side did it take, I mean, coming to Pakistan, the entire idea and the thought, unfortunately, the image that has created, that the image that is created of Pakistan all across the world, did it take some convincing to the to the loved one around you? I mean, your well-wishers and all calling up, hey, you're going to Pakistan, be very careful and stuff. Yeah. So, did, did it happen or no? Yeah, I think, yeah, to be, to be truthful, it did. You definitely have, you know, colleagues, even when I was coming out with England, I was going to be, I think, the only English journalist out here because it was a short tour for the the men and there's certainly there are concerns around that but I think there's a big 
disconnect between the perception when you're at home, you're in England and you think, oh, Pakistan and everyone talks about all the incidents in the in the past. But, you know, a lot of work has been done on the global scale, on the on cricket scale as well. And, and only to see the security arrangements that are in place. I think it was very important for, I guess, Western journalists or from Australia, from England or forever to, to, to be on the ground because then you can see for yourself that once you arrive in a country like Pakistan, it's so much more than a security concern. You know, if I think about the England series in the summer just, just gone, we had more security breaches and people running onto the pitch than I think I've ever seen in, in, in a Pakistan exactly. test. And, and so I think that the perception versus the reality is, is very different. I, I've been lucky, I guess, I grew up outside of England. We lived, my family lived in, in Damascus, in Syria for a number of years. So, and it's the same thing there. We had, when we were there, it was, it was amazing. We were so welcome. We, we lived a very free life. The culture is vibrant. The cuisine is brilliant. The people are lovely. And, and I was very confident that the same would be the, in Pakistan. Once you arrive here, then you get to experience it. And thank goodness we are here. When you talk about cuisines, the next question, obviously, I'll ask about food because we Pakistanis are very crazy about our food. We love our food and I hope you're loving it too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I've only been here for, I guess, 48 hours, but we've been very, very lucky. I like my spicy food as well. And we were, um, we went out to a lovely restaurant yesterday evening. Tonight, I think we'll be here for some for a barbecue. So, yes, I am very happy with Pakistani food and, and more of it, please. And, and Isabel, before we talk serious stuff about yes, cricket, about I was cricket. just I was just going through your 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 profile, and it said that you have you've spent your childhood in Mongolia, in Malaysia, in Eastern Ireland, in Syria, of course. You mentioned about that, and you have played cricket for the Netherlands. So you've been you've been quite a, a nomad, yeah. uh, right? A cocktail. Yeah. yeah, I was. But that 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 part of like one of the reasons I wanted to come to Pakistan because the world is out there. Um, yeah, my, my dad, he was a geologist and so we, we lived all over, all over the world. I, I've been to India a number of times to, to watch cricket and, and I think that's, that's yeah, that, you, you never lose that sense when you have the, that, that bug and when you've been to different places. Um, in many ways, England is, the, is, is my foreign land. Um, so I feel very home at home here in Pakistan. Brilliant. Okay, so now talking about cricket, some serious talk regarding cricket now. Um, you were there at Mindy Stadium yesterday when um, you get to see the pitch there. Looking at the pitch, like if, if you have a distant look uh, for the pitch, it looked like a belter. But once you get a closer look, it, it, it looks like maybe there, there are just two more days, it'll get more drier, there'd be more cracks. What's your take on the pitch of Mindy Stadium? Yeah, interesting. We, we listened to uh, Nathan Lyon, the Australian off spinner, earlier today. Day and he's saying that there wasn't, didn't look as though there'd be much spin. I think, I think it will lend itself to seam. I think we'll see certainly like that reverse wing coming out in the, the later days of the test. I think Australia will probably only play with one spinner. Um, they've got a few part timers as well. They've got obviously a very strong seam attack. I think it will, yeah, I don't think it will break up all that much to be honest. I think it will be, it will, it will favour the seamers. Um, and of course, for for Pakistan, I hope that nobody else gets either injured or COVID because that's where you think the tussles are going to be. Both of them, both teams do have stellar seam, seam lineup. So I think, yeah, I think it will be a true track. Um, and, and I'm looking forward to a good contest. Yeah, and if you go by the reputation, Isabel, then Rahul Pindi has actually got the reputation. It has got, compared to other tracks that you'll be seeing on your tour in Lahore and Karachi, it has got a slight bit of, uh, it, it does help the paces. We have seen it in the recent times that the wicket may look that it is helping the batsmen, but there is always something there for the seamers. So, when you look at the seam attack for Pakistan, you'll be, you'll be seeing Shaheen Shah freely there. And Shaheen is, is right now on, on, on cloud number nine because his team, Lahore Kalandas, won the, the Pakistan Super League. So, were you following Pakistan Super League, by the way? Yeah, absolutely. Unfortunately, I was actually flying, I think, when the final took place. So, I didn't watch, I, did, I wasn't able to watch the final, but I've, I've certainly been, um, been, been following it because we've got a number of Australian players, a number of England players that have been there as well. And it's, yeah, it's a great tournament. So, 100% I've been following it.
And for the English, uh, for the English commentators and for the English analysts, I think PSL. I mean, they, they have to give some credit to the PSL because they just bring out some unknown English player. For many of them, like Livingston, and I think this year Harry we had this. G Harry, Harry Brook, Brook. Harry yeah, Brook, and this yeah. year, and this year, Will Sneed. I mean, uh, a, a very baby-faced cricketer, and we were thinking, well, who is he? <laughs> and he was there. He was. I think he came very close to scoring two centuries in this PSL. So I think for English analysts and commentators, I think PSL is one tournament they should be following very, very closely because uh, they can see a number of their future stars there playing. James Wins, I think he started his foreign franchise career. Livingston is, is one of those. Joe Clark. They all started in PSL uh, five, six years uh, back. Alex Hales had a wonderful Alex Hales, in yeah. the PSL as yeah. well. And actually, I think the PSL has a r wider resonance off the, off the pitch as well. Now that it's moved back to, to Pakistan, I think it played a really important role, for example, in um, in Shane Watson uh, in, in being one of the sort of advocates to the players for Australia and, and, and making them comfortable. Mm -hmm. That Pakistan is a perfectly brilliant place to come to and to play cricket. So I think, and, I, and hopefully that will play a role as well when England come over, the England men's test team come over later this year. Yeah, um, yeah there's, there's some breakout stars on the pitch and there's some good diplomacy off it. So I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of the PSL, 100%. Brilliant. Um, Isabella, talking about this um, Australia tour to Pakistan, as you, as you mentioned, and I remember you were very vocal about when um, ECB said that they're not touring Pakistan, and you were very vocal. I've seen many um, footages of you uh, talking about it and you being furious about it. Now, um, Australia versus Pakistan. How important do you think this tour is for not just for Pakistan cricket, but the balance of cricket, the balance of world cricket altogether? Oh yeah, I mean, for years I think I've been worried in the in the men's game, especially that you've got this this so-called big three: England, India, Australia, who have kind of formed a little racket around themselves. And and you know, I mean, Australia haven't toured another country other than England for yeah. for years now. Their last their last overseas tour was in 2019, and that was to England for the Ashes. So I think that this. You know, there are some amazing test teams. I mean, if, if you're looking at just the performance on the field, England are a pretty pretty poor test side at the moment. But Pakistan, South Africa, Sri Lanka as well, um, New Zealand, of course, the number one test series. The idea that you've got this big three is just absolutely absurd. Um, so, yeah, of course, it's extremely important that, that Pakistan be playing test cricket back here, but also showing how good they are as a test side. If you look at actually some of the best players in this Pakistan test side, even Babur Azam, I think he's only played 30-odd tests. Like the, the amount of test cricket that Pakistan is able to play at the moment compared to the likes of England, who arguably play too much test cricket, is there's a real imbalance. So I think we need to get that back in the the, the, the men's test cricket world. But, but also I think it's important when you think about the global game on, on the women's scale is that there's there's an imbalance as well. You've got England and Australia with a lot of money and investment in the women's game. You could argue that, that India has the money but hasn't got the, the attitude or the intent to invest in the women's game. But I'm hearing already that, that Pakistan is thinking of, um, the PCB is thinking of a women's PSL as early as, as next year. So yeah, I think this, is, this, is, this could pave the way for a more equal playing field in both the men's and the women's game and, and I'm, I'm looking forward to the future. Exactly and the recent performance that Pakistan women cricket team is having right now like in the warm-ups they have yeah. beaten New Zealand then they've recently yesterday they've beaten Bangladesh so which means they're, they're heading on uh, in the right direction but before we go any further Isabella we'll go on a short break and uh, break se hum wapas aayenge aur jaise hi wapas aate hain so discussion ko aage badhayenge aur thodi karenge australia to to pakistan ke hawale se and welcome back to game set match in conversation with isabel westbury English sports writer and broadcaster and Isabel. Moving on further, talking about this series, Australia tour to Pakistan. Pakistan, who would be your three trump cards from Australia and from Pakistan? Oh, now you've got me. <laughs> um, 
I think from Australia, you can't go past the captain, Pat Cummins. He had a really good first series as captain against, uh, against England. Um, and I think that the, the pitches out here will really suit his height, his bounce. Um, I think Manus Labashain, as far as the batting is concerned, we've seen how much he's been preparing, both with his, 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 new, his mat that he's, he's invented um, back at, at home before he came out, and he's a real student of the game. And then I think Mitchell Stark as well. I think he had a sort of a comeback series against Australia, where, uh, against England, where perhaps some people have wished him, written him off, but he's such a, a potent left-arm seamer. Mm -hmm. For Pakistan, um, ooh, let me think. I think, well, I mean, Babar Azam, I think I'm just looking forward to seeing him in his whites again. Um, obviously, we know that he was the ODI Cricketer of the Year last year, but he's such an important player in that, that middle order, that anchor for, for, for Pakistan. Shahin Shah Afridi, I mean, I know he's a name on everyone's lips and it's almost, it's very easy to, to say that as well. Um, and then I think, I think I'm quite looking forward to seeing um, Abdullah Shafiq as well. All right. Obviously, he played really well against Bangladesh in the last mm -hmm. matches. Mm -hmm. um, so I think he's somebody who's obviously quite new to the scene. We haven't seen a lot of him, but he's had a really good start at the top of the order. And I expect him to start as well in that, in that first test match. So I think those are my three to watch. All right, Isabel, we created a, a playing 11 for Pakistan in our yesterday's game. One of the analysts was here with us and we did not put Abdullah Shafiq in our squad, in our team, the playing <laughs> okay. 11. Yeah. So just to make sure that you watch him play, I think we'll be taking out, we're dropping Shan from our team and we are bringing in Abdullah. Abdullah. All right, <laughs> so, so that you can watch Ooh. him play and maybe maybe score a century against Australia as well. But one so who, player, who did, yeah, sorry, please carry team on. Have who does your team have opening? Because I had Shan Masood and Abdullah Shafiq opening, or am I am I off the off the boil there? We have Shan Masood and Azhar Ali. Opening. Azhar Ali, we got Azhar Ali to open. Uh, okay, okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so, but one player from Australia that we Pakistanis won't mind scoring tons of runs as long as Australia is not winning is Usman Khwaja, and uh, Usman Khwaja. Uh, I mean, he's been a wonderful ambassador of the game. I mean, he's been a very vocal advocate of the cricket returning to Pakistan. And uh, the way he's been talking, I mean, not just Usman, but many Australian players have been acting like, not cricketers, but like diplomats. I mean, the overall body language, the tone, the selection of words has been, has been superlative. I mean, there, there's hardly any mentioning of, unless a Pakistani journalist asks that, there's hardly any mention of security and concerns and stuff. The focus is entirely on cricket. They are on a mission here, and the mission is a pretty noble one. I mean, bringing normalcy uh, to Pakistan as far as cricket is concerned. Just a few thoughts on the role of uh, the, the overall Australian cricketer's attitude, and especially Usman Khwaja, Isabel. Oh, it's incredibly important. And I think a lot of credit has to go to the Australian Cricketers Association. So that's the, the representative body for the players. And they had representatives coming out alongside the governing body, Cricket Australia, to Pakistan before this series. And they were the ones I think that are very important in getting the players comfortable. Um, so Usman Khawaja has been elected onto their board. So he's now, you know, he's in his 30s. He's quite settled. He's a, a new dad. He's captain of his state side. And he's quite a strong voice within that, within that team. And obviously he's come back into the Australian setup when he made back-to-back -back hundreds. So I think he's somebody that a lot of the players have used as a, a sounding board. But then I think also the past player, Shane Watson, um, of course, he's played so many seasons in the PSL and absolutely loved his time here. He's now the president of the Australian Cricketers Association, so I think his voice is very important. George Bailey, who's the, um, the chief selector for the Australian men's team, he played a few years back. I think it was an invitational T20 series for a World Eleven that came out World here in, 11, yeah. in 2017. Really True. But, yeah. but then you go back even to the players that played here back in the 1990s, I think Darren Lehman. Um, he's been a very big advocate of the Australian men's team coming back out. So I think the past players from both the recent past who played in T20s over here, but also those that last played here in the last Test Series were around. And then the Australian Cricketers Association as a whole. It's been a, a real group effort and it's, it's something that I think a lot of other nations, and I would suggest England, could learn from as, as well. Because I think I've, you know, it's been nothing but positive from those voices. Exactly, and um, I hope that this series would open the gates for all the other countries who hesitate to come here to this region, to this part of this world. So uh, I hope it, it gets better and we get to see a very good and cracking series here. But thank you, Isabel. Thank, thanks a lot for your time.
Um, thanks for being here. And, and and we would look forward to welcome you in our studio because um, yeah, if, when you when you visit when you Karachi, are in Karachi for the definitely. second test, and you won't be staying very far away from where our studio is located. <laughs> so it will be an honor to welcome you here. Well, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Isabel. Thanks a lot. Super. our discussion or just tarah aap dekh rahe hain not just Australian players. ऑस्ट्रेलियन प्लेयर्स के साथ साथ जो फॉरेन मीडिया है दे दे वेरी कंफर्टेबल एंड जब मैं इजबेल की बात करती हूँ आई रिमेंबर कि एक बहुत एक एक फुटेज बहुत वायरल हुई थी इजबेल की जब जिस वक्त ईसीबी ने मना किया था पाकिस्तान टूर करने को एंड शी वाज वेरी वेरी फ्यूरियस एबनी के साथ आई बिलीव वो 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 डिस्कशन थी उनकी एंड शी वॉज वेरी फ्यूरियस कि कैसे एकदम से इंग्लिश क्रिकेट बोर्ड कैसे बैकआउट कर सकता है और जिसकी कोई बेसिस नहीं है और कोई वो नहीं है सो शी इज़ ऑलवेज बीन वेरी सपोर्टिव कि पाकिस्तान में क्रिकेट होनी चाहिए एंड right. देन फिर जिन प्लेयर्स का उन्होंने बताया हम हम बात करते हैं उस्मान ख्वाजा की मगर बैकग्राउंड uh, में uh, जो और प्लेयर्स हैं जैसे वाटसन की उन्होंने बात की बिकॉज ही इज द हेड ऑफ क्रिकेट प्लेयर एसोसिएशन जो है उसकी So that और, is really good. और अभी अभी उन्होंने अपनी गुफ्तु में भी कई दफ़ा इस बात का आई मीन एक डिसअपॉइंटमेंट आपको नजर आ रही थी इजाबेल की गुफ्तु में मुसलसल के शीशी इज डिसअपॉइंटेड विद दीट्यूड ऑफ मेरा ये ख्याल है कि उस वक्त जितने भी उनके आई एम श्योर इवन द क्रिकेटर्स जो उन्होंने बड़ा क्लियरली आके बोल दिया था कि जी हमसे तो किसी ने बात नहीं किया ना आने के हवाले से बट बहर हाल जी द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट वो साहब जो उस वक्त इंचार्ज थे या वो जो उस वक्त ग्रुप लीड कर रहा था ई सी पी का दे आर हिस्ट्री नाव आई थिंक वो उनके ताबूत में आखिरी कील साबित हुई थी वो जो उनका डिसीजन था द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दर इन शाला द सीरीज इज गोइंग हेड और आगे वाली सीरीज भी आगे चल रही होंगी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फॉलो इज अबेल और शी राइट्स रेली वेल शी स्पीक्स रेली वेल आप जो है इनको फॉलो कर सकते हैं ट्विटर पर Isabel Westbury aap uh, w e s t b u r y likh ke search karenge so you can follow her twitter handle there and um, as i said there's a very nice there is a very nice aaj chale abhi hum baat karte hain zara aaj dono teamon ke kaptanon aur cricketers jo hain unhone aaj media se baat ki babar azam ne bhi baat ki hai aaiye sunte hain babar ne kya kaha so that's the benu kadir trophy for you ye aapne dekha aur dono kaptan ye baat kar rahe the aur pet comments ya apne mulk mein to pakistan ke khilaf बहुत अच्छा खेल चुके हैं लेकिन असल तो इनको आप पता चलने वाला और मेरा ये ख्याल है आई थिंक सवेरा आप अगर इनके ऑस्ट्रेलियन क्रिकेटर्स के बयानात से भी आपको अंदाजा होगा दे आर टेकिंग दिस सीरीज एज अ मैसिव चैलेंज हम अपने शो में काफी दफा ये बात कर चुके हैं ऑस्ट्रेलिया का सब कॉन्टिनेंटल कंडीशन में इवन इन कंट्रीज लाइक श्रीलंका एंड बांग्लादेश देव स्ट्रगल्ड वेदर इट्स लिमिटेड ओवर क्रिकेट इंडिया की तो हम बात करते ही नहीं है बिकॉज इंडिया में तो जाहिर है वो एक मखसूस ब्लैंड ऑफ क्रिकेट खिलवाते हैं हर एक को मखसूस टाइप की विकटें पाकिस्तान में उस लेवल की विकटें नहीं मिलेंगी देर बी मोर कम्पेटिव but it's a big challenge hmm. and i think these australians in ki body language ye bata rahi hai that they are on for it bilkul bilkul aur jis tarah uh, bar bar ye baat kar rahe hain wo this would be a challenge for yeah. us kal uh, jitne log pindi stadium mein the bahut sare journalist dost jinhone bataya ki sabse pehle training jo shuru ki ya batting aur knocking practice jinhone shuru ki that was steve smith right. aur sabse aakhri jo gaye wo bhi steve smith Amazing. which means steve smith बहुत ज़्यादा फोकस्ड हैं उनको पता है हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट ही इज फॉर ऑस्ट्रेलिया इफ ही गिव अ गुड स्टार्ट ऑस्ट्रेलिया को ऑल टुगेदर बहुत अच्छा स्टार्ट मिलेगा ऑल टुगेदर बहुत अच्छी एक एक प्लेटफॉर्म मिल जाएगा परफॉर्म करने के लिए और फिर ऑब्वियसली उनको शाहिन शाह आफरीदी को फेस करना होगा बहुत मजा आएगा जी एंड वी आर सो लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू दैट बट राइट नाउ आई बिलीव वी हैव टू मूव टूवर्ड्स अ कमर्शियल ब्रेक सो कीप वॉचिंग गेम सेट मैच वील कैच यू एट दी अदर साइड ऑफ दिस ब्रेक वेलकम बैक टू गेम सेट मैच डिस्कशन हमारी हो रही ऑस्ट्रेलिया टू टू पाकिस्तान के हवाले से और ब्रेक पे जाने से पहले इजबिल वेस्ट पर ही हमारे साथ मौजूद थी साथ ही साथ हम डिस्कस कर रहे थे कि और क्या क्या चीज़ें हम ऑस्ट्रेलिया वर्सेस पाकिस्तान में देखने वाले हैं बट जब हम फॉरेन मीडिया की बात करते हैं जब हम फॉरेन जर्नलिस्ट की बात करते हैं वो लोग तो इन्जॉय कर रहे हैं यहाँ के पहली दफ़ा मौका मिल रहा है पाकिस्तान टूर करने का इन लोगों को एंड दे आर इन्जॉइंग देर टाइम they having different cuisines they having pakistani cuisine and pakistani food and enjoying it but local hamara media hamare hamare apne journalist pakistani journalist wo log bhi wahan maujood hain kafi tadad mein aur pindi mein shiddat se intezar kar rahe hain wo ke kab jo hai friday aaye kab 4th march ho aur kab pehli ball dale is trophy ki so is waqt hamare sath maujood hain phone line pe senior sports journalist abdul majid bhatti sahab so bhatti sahab game set match mein khush aamdeed जी बहुत शुक्रिया सवेरा बस अब थोड़ी देर पहले ही 
ने लैंड लैंड किया है इस्लामाबाद में और अभी होटल में चेक इन भी हुआ हूँ और आपसे बात हो रही है लेकिन बहरहाल जिस तरह आप लोग सुजेस्ट इंतजार कर रहे हैं हम भी सुजेस्ट इंतजार कर रहे हैं क्योंकि चौबीस साल एक बहुत बड़ा अर्सा होता है चौबीस साल पहले जो अगर बच्चे पैदा हुए होंगे तो अब तो वो जवान हो गए होंगे पूरी नसल जो है वो क्रिकेट से महरूम रही तो मेरा ख्याल एक तारीखी लम्हा फिर उसको तारीख का पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट बोर्ड ने भी आज बनाया है कि ऑस्ट्रेलिया और पाकिस्तान के जो दो अजीम खिलाड़ी थे ऋषि बैनो और अब्दुल काजर इनके नाम से बैनो काजर ट्रॉफी मंसूब की गई है तो एक अच्छा मुकाबला होने जा रहा है लेकिन एक थोड़ा सा जब मैंने आती जिस तरह आपने आपके साथ बहुत बाहर के मुल्कों में गई हम उन दूसरे शहरों में जाते हैं आते ही जब मैंने वेदर चेक किया तो वेदर फोरकास्ट पहले दो दिन के बाद यहाँ बारिश बता रही है अब जैसे ऐसा ना हो कि बारिश में हमने भंग डाल दे नहीं नहीं बटी साहब अगर पिंडी में भंग डाल भी दिया तो आ, वैसे भी आ, कर, कराची और लाहौर में भंग की इतनी काश्त होती नहीं है इन शाह यहाँ का जो वेदर है वो क्रिकेट के लिए कंड्यूसिव होगा लेकिन बटी साहब बात बड़ी सिंपल है और वो ये कि अब तक जो बार बार हम देखते आ रहे हैं और बात करते आ रहे हैं ऑस्ट्रेलियंस का ओवरऑल एटीट्यूड बड़ा जबरदस्त रहा है उनकी बॉडी लैंग्वेज उनका बोलने का अंदाज एंड ऑल उनका फोकस प्योरली क्रिकेट पर है इस वक्त कहीं कोई डिस्ट्रैक्शन नहीं हो रही है और अब तक जो आपने आज पैट कामिंस का शायद हो सकता है आपने बयान देखा हो कल आपने स्टीव स्मिथ को देखा बड़ा प्रोफेशनली और डिप्लोमेटिकली एड कर रहे हैं वो पाकिस्तान में बल्कि आज अदिल जो नेथन लाइन उनके ऑफिसर हैं उन, उन्होंने भी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस की है उन्होंने दो बातें बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग की एक तो उन्होंने साइड का इजहार किया है कि मेरी कोशिश होगी कि बाबर आजम क्योंकि दुनिया के नंबर वन बैट्समैन है तो चैलेंजेस है उनको बॉलिंग कराना लेकिन नेथन लाइन ने कहा है कि मैं बाबर आजम को आउट करना चाहूंगा इस चीज में फिर दूसरी ख्वाहिश का उन्होंने इजहार किया कि ऑस्ट्रेलिया पाकिस्तान के खिलाफ थ्री मिल के अगर सीरीज जीत जाए तो मतलब खतरे की घंटी तो है और ऑस्ट्रेलिया की टीम बहुत प्रोफेशनल टीम है देखिए दो हजार दस में मुझे इतफाक हुआ ऑस्ट्रेलिया में पाकिस्तान और ऑस्ट्रेलिया की सीरीज को कवर करने का तो ये तो सिडनी का बड़ा फेमस फैसला है जब हाल ही देश को अस्सी रन पाकिस्तान को चाहिए थे मोहम्मद सनी और दानिश कनेरिया ने पाकिस्तान को जीत के करीब पहुंचा दिया लेकिन आपको याद होगा फेमस स्टम्पिंग जब मिस किए मिस किए कामरान अकबर ने पाकिस्तान वो फैसला ही हार गया एक आप आपसे एक इंटरेस्टिंग वाक्य शेयर करूंगे आखिरी फैसला था मोबाइल से मैं उस मैन सबू दीन और एक हमारे दोस्त हैं खालिद हुसैन जो कराची में सीनियर जर्नलिस्ट हो हम लोग ऊपर खड़े हुए थे हमारे नीचे मोहम्मद आमिर शूटिंग कर रहे थे वो किसी खातून के साथ बाउंड्री लाइन पर खड़े हुए बातचीत कर रहे थे वो ये वो टाइम था जब रिक्की पॉन्डिंग फॉर्म में नहीं थे रिक्की पॉन्डिंग आए उन्होंने पहला ही फाइनल के उसको खेला सीधा गेम मोहम्मद आमिर के पास भी उन्होंने कैच ड्रॉप कर दिया और उस कैच में रिक्की पॉन्डिंग की फॉर्म वापस आ गई उस ड्रॉप कैच की वजह से उन्होंने डबल फैक्ट्री बनाई तो ऑस्ट्रेलिया की टीम हाईली प्रोफेशनल है इस टीम को भी आप देख रहे ऑन पेपर पाकिस्तान से बहुत ज्यादा मजबूत है हमने जिस हमने जिस दो हजार इक्कीस में वाइट वाइट बॉल फॉर्मेट में अच्छी परफॉर्मेंस दी है उम्मीद है कि होम सीरीज में हमारे लड़के अच्छा परफॉर्म करेंगे हालांकि हमारे टीम फास्ट बॉलिंग अंकित हो गए मोहम्मद नवाज अंकित हो गए लेकिन मुझे ये समझ नहीं आ रही कि पिछली सीरीज जो हम यू ए में जीते थे ऑस्ट्रेलिया से गालिबन तीन चार साल पहले उसमें जो हमारे मेन बॉलर थे मोहम्मद अब्बास उन्होंने सत्रह विकटें ली थी यू ए की विकटों पर बटी साहब मोहम्मद अब्बास ने जो है वो अब रिजर्व में जो है वो हिस्सा बन गए मोहम्मद अब्बास क्योंकि रिजर्व के जो नसीम शाह थे वो आ गए हैं अब स्क्वाड में तो रिजर्व में मोहम्मद अब्बास जो है वो हिस्सा बन गए हैं बट आई होप के और कुछ हमें ना इंजरी सामने दिखें या कोविड के कोई केसेस ना दिखें आई होप के ऐसी अब जो हमारी फर्स्ट इलेवन हम चाहते हैं खिलाना वो खिला सकें बट भट्टी साहब आपका बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया एंड आई होप के हमें बहुत अच्छी सीखने को मिले एंड अदील जब हम कमेंटेटर्स की लिस्ट yeah. की बात करते हैं सो कमेंटेटर्स की लिस्ट भी आ गई कमेंटेटर्स की लिस्ट अभी सामने आई है एंड वेरी एक्साइटिंग पैनल हम देख लेते हैं जी रॉप की उज एन इंग्लिश कॉमेंटेटर इज देयर इसके अलावा साइमन कैटिच ऑस्ट्रेलिया के कॉमेंटेटर ओनली फॉर टेस्ट मैच माइकल कैसप्रो विच इज गोइंग टू बी देर वेरी नाइस टू हेयर एम वकार यूनस बाजिद खान उरूज मुमताज Zainab is there, Sikandar Bakht, and uh, we have got uh, Niroli Meadows. And we have got Niroli Meadows. So very Bilkul nice panel. ये panel जो है सामने मौजूद है और जिस तरह का Richie Beno, 
अब्दुल कादिर ट्रॉफी बहुत जबरदस्त नाम और वी आर लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू इट और विद दिस गेम सेट मैच का वक्त यहाँ पे खत्म होता है आप लोग रखना अपना ख्याल टेक केयर बाय